Hello, I'm James Viola, President and CEO of the Helicopter Association International. Welcome to this month's edition of Viola's Flight Report, or VFR. I am speaking to you from Atlanta, Georgia, where we just wrapped up an HAI Heli Expo that may go down as one of the best ever. I heard some exhibitors say that they were so busy they barely had time to see others on the show floor. HAI Heli Expo brought together more than 12,400 industry professionals from 97 countries for four days, networking, education, and industry meetings. To sharpen their skills and grow professionally, nearly 2,200 attendees took advantage of 116 educational opportunities at the show. They also took in a show floor packed with the latest in aviation technology from 639 exhibitors. I think we can finally say that our industry is back to normal, eager to connect in person for networking, education, and business opportunities. We had 49 aircraft on the show floor, ranging from small but capable personal aircraft, including my R-44, to two Chinooks, which is another aircraft that I have a lot of hours in. We also had uncrewed aircraft systems in various sizes and an advanced air mobility model provided by Jaunt Air Mobility. Our fleet is expanding and becoming more diverse, and future operators will have far more options when choosing the right tool for the right mission. The vertical aviation industry is already laying the groundwork to create that future, and HAI Heli Expo featured several sessions about how we build the infrastructure, airspace rules, and training programs to support it. HAI also released a roadmap of advanced air mobility operations, a white paper that describes the next steps necessary for AAM development. Our industry is also looking to build a sustainable workforce who will build, fly, fix, and supply that future fleet. And HAI Heli Expo hosted several events and programs aimed at filling that vertical aviation industry recruiting pipeline. We hosted the world's largest vertical aviation job fair that connected several thousand job seekers with more than 15 aviation companies looking to hire. Another big draw is our annual Mill to Civ workshop, where veterans who have successfully transitioned to careers in the civil industry provide free assistance to military pilots and maintainers who are looking beyond their military service. And we held the first in-person meeting of the HAI Workforce Development Working Group, which will look at the issues from an industry-wide perspective. The cornerstone of our industry's future is safety, and HAI's Heli Expo provided attendees with plenty of opportunities to elevate their safety game. In addition to education courses and sessions, we had a rotor safety zone where the attendees could test virtual reality simulators and learn about the best practices and tools that will help them fly and work more safely. I know that many operators feel burdened by the high cost of aviation insurance, and HAI is looking to find ways to help. In fact, the HAI Aviation Insurance Working Group had its first in-person meeting at this year's conference. But you should know that this is not just a business issue, it is also a safety issue, because our industry's accident rate is driving those high insurance premiums. In order to have a prosperous, vibrant industry, we must have a safe industry. Please take advantage of all the education and resources that HAI provides to strengthen your safety culture and sharpen your risk management skills and secure your future. If you missed the Rotor Safety Zone in Atlanta, just visit rotor.org safety to find tools and resources that will support you on your safety journey. If you were with us in Atlanta, I hope the show exceeded your expectations, and I hope everyone will make it to the HAI Heli Expo 2024 in Anaheim, California. Our theme for that show is Building Tomorrow, and that is also so accurate. Our industry is building our future, and it will be one with a diverse fleet of sustainable workforce with a strong safety culture and a connected global industry. That is HAI's vision for the future, and I hope you will join us in making it happen. Well, that wraps up this month's edition of VFR. Please email me with your comments or suggestions on how HAI can provide you with better service. Until next time, fly safe, stay safe, 
and keep those rotors turning.